You know, some of the earliest big game hunting seasons to open in Canada are the middle of July. July 15th in the Northwest Territories, August 1st in a lot of the Yukon. So there really isn't much time to delay to get your equipment ready if you want to take part in a number of different seasons. I got some new scopes here that I'm just getting ready to mount on my guns. And I was just out at Rob Furlong's Marksmanship Academy this weekend and learned some interesting stuff about focusing the reticle in your scope. Here's a brand new Bushnell Elite. And what most people do is they put this on their rifle and they put it in there and they dial it in until it looks nice and clear. But that isn't the correct way to do it. You want to make sure that the reticle is in focus. And what happens is if you look at an object for any length of time, your eye is going to fool you and try to bring it into focus. So it's a real easy step to do. You back the focus ring all the way out. And uh, if you got a good scope, there's a stop. That ring will not come all the way out. So it goes all the way out. And what you want to do is turn it to a blue patch of sky. You don't want anything in the background. And you just want to look in it for three seconds. It's out of focus. We're going to crank it in one. Slowly coming into focus. Crank it again. It's starting to look a lot better. Again, I'd say that's perfect focus. We're going to go one more. It's still in perfect focus. One more. It's out of focus. So we're going to come back. We're going to bracket it. There were a couple different segments there. It was in focus. Come back one full rotation. The reticle is perfectly in focus. Now the key there is really to make sure you only look at it for three seconds at a time and don't focus on an object because your eye will play tricks on you and say that it's in focus. And you can do this with any type of scope. You know, there's different systems and whether they come with caps on them, you just pop those off. And again, you screw it all the way out. Work it in slowly until you find that perfect focus and you're ready to go. The scope's now ready to mount on your gun. If you've got it on your gun, don't worry. You can do the same exercise to refocus that reticle for your eye specifically just by lifting your gun with a three second hold. Hopefully everything's in focus when that big buck walks out in front of you this year.